go. Uh, today I want to talk to you about something called the Great Invitation. This comes from Yeshua and uh, Matiti Yahu. Uh, it's chapter 11, verses uh, 28 to 30. It says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy laden, I will give you rest. It says, Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest unto your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And he's calling all of us today, taken under that burden of sin. Uh, you know, a song that says, uh, would you be free from the burden of sin? And he's calling to, to you to find an invitation today, that burden, those things you can't uh, overcome in yourself, but only in Yeshua. And that burden of drugs, that burden of alcoholism, that burden of prostitution, burden of gambling, uh, burden of alcohol. He's calling you today to find the freedom in him. Uh, you know, uh, taking his yoke, uh, yoke, but really brings freedom, freedom for your soul. You find peace in your souls uh, when you turn to him. Those things which you thought, I know people have thought that uh, they would find peace in a bottle, but you know what? You don't find peace in a bottle. Yeah, you escape for a while, but you come back to reality. You come back to reality with the drugs, you know, with everything else. And here it is, he's calling upon us all to, to find peace, to find that peace that we don't find in drugs and alcohol and gambling and crime. To find that peace that comes only by being made right with God through Yeshua. And, you know, also there's, uh, he says that in Isaiah chapter 3, uh, chapter 53, verse 4, uh, he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. And that's what he's doing here. He's taking it, taking you take, you take your yoke, his yoke upon you, and he's taking that burden of sin away from you. That's why his yoke is easy and his burden is light. And it, the writer to Hebrews said, Let us uh, boldly approach the throne of grace that we may find grace for help in time of need. Uh, to turn to turn to God instead of the alcohol or drugs. Like I, I, one time I saw a young lady uh, going to the mikvah, and before she went under, she said this, he says, drugs can't save you, the occult can't save you, uh, sex can't save you, you know, take it from me, I know. And, you know, I think a whole lot of people really would have, have probably hoped followed that that night, who woke up. And, uh, you know, I mean, at one time, uh, I was troubled, and I thought maybe I would find peace in a bottle. I thought maybe that alcoholics were happy people. Of course, they're not. And... Uh, you know, I'd see how much, you know, you, you think you're not really happy, you know, uh, when your life is ruined, uh, your marriage is ruined, everything, you have no job. That's where Yeshua says that the thief comes not but for to steal, kill, and destroy. And that, you know, that thief of alcohol, drugs, and gambling, and prostitution, and crime, that's what it, do it does. It, you know, destroys your whole life, everything you have. And, you know, there's also this, you know, works righteousness. Now, a lot of the people were under that, the burden of the, the religious leaders. Uh, you know, Yeshua had a great following among the people in Israel, but it was, the, his problem was with the religious leaders, and they were, that's why they went after him. And uh, he was telling them, you know, you put a burden on people which they can't carry. And then, you know, Peter said in Acts chapter 15, uh, let us not put a yoke upon the believers that neither we nor our fathers could bear. They all, that it says that uh, by grace are you saved uh, through faith, not of works, lest any man should boast, you know, uh, <clears throat> that you take his yoke upon him and learn of him. And uh, you find freedom from those things which, which have enslaved you and find real peace. Amen.